You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. Her time is over. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. An article by Emily Ferguson in the Daily Express tells us that Harry's wife's time in the royal family is over and there is no way back for her now. As always, I leave it for you to make a determination. As to the veracity of this information, and in the circumstances, you can make your own mind up as to whether you believe that her time in the royal family is indeed over. Naturally, she has signalled that her time is over, by moving to the United States, by no longer being a working royal. But of course, on the other hand, like a typical narcissist, creates a state of uncertainty of neither being in nor out, but with one foot still inside, and maybe an arm too, for instance, because she utilises the titles that she repeatedly talks about the way that she's been treated as part of royal life, that she leverages her status as the Duchess of Sussex, even though she has next to nothing to do with the United Kingdom, and certainly has very little, if anything, to do with Sussex. And thus, on the face of it, it would appear that she doesn't want to be part of the royal family she does continue to utilise the connection and status because, after all, that's all she's got. Without it, she's a nobody. A bland-looking individual wearing industrial beige who doesn't have an original thought in her head, who is a mediocre actress, who has nothing compelling to tell us about the world, has no shining talent in fields of literature, film, art, politics, business. She ran a half assed blog, a lifestyle place which she is evidently pinning considerable hope upon being a form of income. But ultimately, none of us would have known about who she was were she not have married and ensnared her ginger bollocks. But what does the Daily Express have to tell us? Prince Harry will cut a sombre figure at the coronation, as he will attend the historic service alone without his beloved Harry's wife. He will be surrounded by family members he has been so keen to haul over the coals and publicly denounce ever since the couple stepped down as senior royals three years ago. But while King Charles will be delighted, assertion of control receives a fuel, that both his sons will attend his big day, Harry's wife's absence speaks volumes. Her unwillingness to sit through the two-hour service and support her in-laws on one of the most important days of their lives marks the final point in her royal journey, and there's no way back from here. Intervening there, I see that as legitimate. Whilst it be argued, of course, that it's Archie's birthday, we'll have many more of them, but he won't remember his fourth birthday when he's older. It's deemed not that important because Harry's missing it again like he did last year, or he missed part of it when he went off to play polo. Coronation is far more important. We haven't had one since 1953. Who knows when the next one will be, depending upon how long Charles lives for. It might be a decade or so away, possibly longer. But the fact is, it's something, as being the daughter-in-law of the monarch, that she ought to attend, although, as I've explained, it's understandable why she has not, as a consequence of the concerns that her narcissism has with regard to the variety of threats of control that she would have. But the fact that she has turned down the invitation which will please many people, save those who wanted her to turn up so they could boo her, it does demonstrate again the fact that 
It widens once more the rift between her and the rest of the royal family. The Express continues by stating, while it is unfortunate that the day of the coronation falls on their son's fourth birthday, they could have easily brought both of their children over to the United Kingdom and celebrated the occasion within the safe confines of Frogmore Cottage later that afternoon. It's exactly what the family afforded last year during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee when their daughter Lilibet turned one on day three of the royal celebrations, which of course demonstrates the expediency of the narcissist, whereby, because it suited her to turn up at the Platinum Jubilee, Lilibet had to be brought across the ocean and had to have her birthday take place at Frogmore Cottage. Not that she would care. She either doesn't exist, or if she does, she's a very young girl who won't remember anything of it, so she doesn't give a fudge. At the end of the day, her birthday was recognised and noted. That would be all that would matter. It doesn't matter where it takes place. So, of course, the narcissist at that juncture could cater for what she wanted, namely attendance at the Platinum Jubilee, and Lilibet had to have a birthday wherever she was told to have it. However, now circumstances have changed. Notwithstanding the fact that children could be brought across, she's going to use that as an excuse for not attend, because the fact is, she won't be able to deal with the repeated threats to her control caused by her huge unpopularity. The Express continues by explaining that Harry's wife has decided she won't face the music and support her husband on what promises to be a tricky day for the royal outsider. Naturally, it is going to be difficult for Harry after what he has stated in WA, or at least what was written on his behalf, and of course what happened in the Shitflix docuseries. So he's going to have a tough ride, but she doesn't care about that. She has no emotional empathy for him as the intimate partner primary source. Indeed, this repeated cutting loose of him does not augur well for the ginger simpleton. More about that in my future videos as to where this is all leading. But the fact is this. She's been keeping a relatively low profile. She hasn't supported him throughout his promotional work for WA. She's distanced himself as a consequence of the backlash that has come from that. She has run away from attendance at the coronation, leaving him to deal with it and face the music on his own. That is indicative, of course, of her self-centred attitude, a lack of emotional empathy for him, the lack of accountability to support him, and is no surprise whatsoever. The Express continues by explaining, so the coronation, set to be watched by millions across the globe, will prove to be an interesting test for their relationship. Indeed it will. And all eyes will be on how Harry is received. Harry's wife's decision to leave him to fend for himself while simultaneously putting the middle fing finger up at the royal family marks the end of the road for her time in the United Kingdom. For many, it will simply confirm their view that Harry's wife only does what Harry's wife wants and won't go out of her way to support anyone else or do anything that doesn't directly benefit her, which, of course, is entirely demonstrative of the way that a narcissist would behave. She will never be welcomed back with open arms, and her next appearance, if there even is one, which actually I see as doubtful, will only be met with boos, staunch criticism, and questions over what is in it for her. Thus the Express believes that her time is now over, and that it is unlikely that she would ever make an appearance again, in the United Kingdom, that essentially the royal family won't want to have anything to do with her. But let's take a quick dip below the line to find out what people think about it. K.H. Jones states she can't continue to call herself royal when she has absolutely nothing to do with them. Well, K.H. Jones, she will continue to do so because she's a hypocrite, although she doesn't see it. Island lover. It's amazing how she can dish out the dirt, but can't take the criticism that follows. A true narcissist, indeed. Noobs, 1966. They've offended South Africans, Australians, Canadians, Americans. Wow, that is some career. Jelly tot. Don't forget the British, too. More sense. Best news ever. Not wanted and not needed ever again. All because of her nasty behaviour towards Britain, the Commonwealth and the royal family. Now give back all the titles, your children's as well. 
old poacher, Dr. Sholabola, or whatever her name is, has stated that this is empowering for Snarkle. She is wrong. This has empowered the entire United Kingdom and proved beyond doubt that this person has no place as a probationary royal, let alone a senior royal. Glad to be shot of her. Nine Senior Kate responds, That doctor talks a lot of nonsensical vitriol. Hegtessa, ex-royal Nigerian herself, bitter. Misty 1959. All I can say is thank God, or whoever else predicted this before they got engaged. My hand is up. And sadly, I've been proved correct, like so many more of us. Harry will have to face all the boos and jeering all on his own. She's far too much of a coward to face the public and the royal family. I would place a very large bet that the delay in responding has been due to Harry trying to persuade her to go. She really is a conniving, selfish, rude, cruel, self-absorbed, self-important, nasty, lying piece of work. Let's hope she never comes to the United Kingdom ever again. Kitty backed Will. Oh, to have been a fly on the wall. It may be the decision that finishes the marriage, because the chances are she told him not to go. Leo's mum, 1307, if she's running true to form, her wedding ring and the divorce papers will arrive by courier the day after the coronation, exactly the same way she let Trevor Engelson know their marriage was over. Sheila, she'll not send the rings back this time, they're worth too much, she'll keep them as trophies. The jewellery she wears that was Diana's needs to be returned, though. Millie Moonlight, I hope that odious woman is never seen in the United Kingdom again. She has caused so much hurt and damage with her lies, disinformation and manipulation. She doesn't truly love Harry. She has used him for financial gain, status, networks, and to elevate herself to the highest level in society. Real love, sincere love, does not smear and malign a new husband's family, abuse the friendship and kindness offered to her by them, and drive the biggest wedge between her husband and his family. That's not love. Real love is a genuine and sincere interest in the well-being, comfort, and happiness of your partner. She has poisoned his soul and caused him to behave appallingly too. They both should hang their heads in shame. Fair observations there from Millie Moonlight. And there are hundreds of comments, all lambasting Harry's wife. All fuel for her, all talking about her, of course. Fuel from tertiary sources if she happens upon the Express and scrolls through the comments. But they'll have her seething because she's attacked time and time again. But with justification. It would appear, however that her time is over. In terms of the royal family, they don't appear to want to have anything to do with her. Yes, she will have been invited for politeness's sake, but those there at the palace will be pleased that she is not attending. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening. <laughs>